Hello and welcome. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that may be. Even if you're not a 90s kid, I, I hope you get the reference. What does sex have to do with the brain? Well, ever wonder why your brain occasionally shuts down or loses focus during sex while there's 5 million other thoughts racing through your head? These things can have a huge impact on your experience with sex. If you think of your body like the complex machine that it is, your brain during sex is just one of the multiple tabs that's open and running. Let's take a look at it. Here are six things that sex does to your brain. Number one, activates your libido. Well, this one makes sense. Libido, by definition, is sexual desire. Go ahead and look it up, we don't mind. Of course, you likely also know that you can have a high, low, or medium libido. There's a whole range, and having a low or lowish libido isn't necessarily a bad thing. In fact, it's more common than you may think, so no worries. Libido is directly affected by hormone release and learned behaviors, both of which are things your brain will signal. Number two, increases your adrenaline. Your heart is racing, your skin is flush, and your breathing is at a faster rate. Are you about to do the plunge on a roller coaster, or are you engaging in foreplay? Well, guess what? Those symptoms are caused by the same hormone, adrenaline, or epinephrine if you're American. Even more interestingly, adrenaline spike isn't picky. Colonel Brainy McBrain will order those adrenaline troops to charge forth upon any anticipation of a heightened state, be it foreplay or a near-death scenario. That's right. If you associate that adrenaline excitement with good times, you may find yourself getting aroused in some unexpected situations. Number three, releases dopamine and serotonin. Nay, hey, usually sex isn't a solitary activity and hormone release during sex isn't either. Sex is a completely normal and healthy thing. So adrenaline's going to be partying with some feel-good besties. And these besties are dopamine and serotonin, who are two of the three happy hormones. These two are BFFs, often working together. Serotonin provides happiness, focus, and tranquility while dopamine provides tremendous pleasure. Huh. Suddenly the term, that's dope, makes much more sense. Number four, the two O's. We're talking about sex, so you probably instantly know what the first O is. It's also known as the climax, or the little death in French. Seriously, it's called la petite mort, which translates to the little death. Orgasms can be so powerful as to mimic a near-death experience. So the adrenaline rush was kind of right. The second O is for oxytocin, the third of the happy hormones. Oxytocin is also known as the love hormone and it functions to lower stress and anxiety. And this is also why it feels nice to cuddle puppies or get warm hugs from loved ones. Number five, sex may make you sad. Have you ever had sex and asked yourself, what, that's it? This is the sex that everyone's been hyping about? When this happens, your brain could have built up unrealistic expectations or feel a range of negative feelings, even if things went well from an outer perspective. This is known as postcoital dysphoria. Overall, sex may not have been a positive experience for you. Maybe it was messy or embarrassing and that affected you. But on the darker side of things, if the association was mostly negative, sex may include trauma. But if you're comfortable with your partner, try talking about it in an honest, open way and deciding together what to do next. In the end, sex is a good, natural, happy, and healthy thing, and you deserve to experience it that way. And number six, it helps with your sleep. Sex is physical. Yes, we, we know you knew that. It just bears repeating since it relates to this point. Sex helping with sleep makes sense if you sum up some of the earlier points and consider that sex is, well, it's physical exertion, maybe even exercise. So you've got physical exertion and hormone release, and this hormone release induces feelings of happiness and calm while lowering stress and anxiety. We'd say that sounds like a perfect recipe for a good and restful sleep. Sex is a beautiful, bonding, engaging experience. At least it's meant to be. The emotion attached to the act is very human, with even the messy, complicated awkwardness being part of the full package. Did you learn anything new or gain some insight? Maybe you know someone who may benefit from the information laid out here. We all could use a little more honest positivity and good sex could be a major factor. Speaking of positivity, share the love and tap that like button. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.